today I'm reviewing Sensational's Butter Lace Unit. This one's in the style Body Wave 20 and I have it in the uh, hazelnut shade and it's cute. It looks like a little simple side part curly wig. I've had it for a second and I've been ready to see what she's going to look like so let's get her installed. Okay so this is super beautiful when taken out of the package. Like this just looks real luxe. It's given luxurious. It's it's really cute. So I'm hoping the installation process is going to be even more fire. Let's get it installed. And I'm thinking no baby hairs. I'm using this little tint spray I bought from the beauty supply store. Let that dry. I could use my blow dryer, but I'm not going to. Just going to kind of let it air dry. Actually, while the air dries, let me go find my clips. I'm going to leave the adjustable straps alone today. Now, this is just a parted wig, so you can't adjust it and make it into like a middle part or anything like that. And it does have adjustable bands on the back. Oh, yep, I'm glad I added the, the tint because this wig is giving light it's in terms of the lace. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> I like it already. This is this is cute. Okay. Dang, I'm mad I waited so long to try this wig because I could have been like rocking this unit all summer. I mean summer ain't over yet, but still, you you get what I'm saying. So let's see. What do y'all think? Glueless or use some holding spray? I think I'm gonna try glueless. Mm, to pluck it, to not pluck it. What do y'all think? Or should I add like a little small, maybe a small swoop? Like, okay, so I think it's cute how they see the model. She doesn't have any baby hairs. But then when they show it on the wig stand, they added baby hairs. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a small something, like a little small swoop. Let me finish styling the hair first and then that'll tell me if I want to add the baby hair. Let's do it like that. I don't want to mess anything up too bad. See, I just think it looks... Mm, let's see. Let me get it a little flat first because it's a little puffy at the roots. I feel like that'll really help tell for sure. I do have this on a low setting of five before I turn the heat up any like should I adjust it some or should I leave it where it is what do y'all think I wish you could be like answering me right now see that's moved over a tad bit or should I bring it back over to the side I think it looks a little more realistic with it being there and then I just need my I need it to stay low that looks low though that's pretty flat a little push back there. A little push back there. I'll even add, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this edge tamer. I feel like this helps make the hair kind of stay down a little. And it'll also remove just a tad bit. What it did was it removed a little bit of this shine in the hair and it made it look a little bit more texturized. Just a tad bit. Like it looks nourished, you know? I'm not mad at it, but I need to figure out where I want this parting space because I feel like I don't have it in a good spot. And we're gonna fix the front, don't worry about that. I'm gonna make this look a lot more, a lot more realistic. I might have to pluck right in here just to make it look, you know, it's just a little too full. And this wig has the lace space for plucking. If you look inside of the stock cart, when you get this wig, it shows you how it's like an open lace space. Even though it's just on the parting, um, it's just on the, what is this, my right? Even though it's just on the right, you still have like lace room to work with you. You need to customize it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to customize mine just a tad bit and pluck it out some. And let me go get my makeup as well because I'm going to need that. 
Okay, so I plucked it out just a little bit so it's less full around the hairline, especially since I'm not gonna wear any baby hairs. I feel like it's important to make sure that this is less full in the front. I'm just doing a little finishing touches here, making sure I have it as thinned out as I would like it to be. Looking good, honestly. And I'm only focusing like right near the parting space because that's where I intend to have, you know, my lace show. We're good there. And the butter lace units, they have really good parting spaces. So I'm very pleased with that. Now I'm just going to just make sure this wig lays flat. I'm trying to think if I want to do like a little small... You see? Something like that? Or is that ugly? Just a little small, little tiny swoop. I would just spray a little bit of this Evan spray on my finger and just put it here to kind of make it into a little edge. Can we have a round of applause for how um, visible my parting space is? This is cute. I like this. I like it. Once you get everything together, you know, put your little play to it. I'm adding just a little bit of pure beige. A little bit, like, there's barely anything on there. <laughs> just to kind of open it up a little bit right there at the front where the lace falls onto my skin. Want to make sure that it stays open. I'm also adding just a little bit right here where I plucked it. Plucking really does so much good. It really does because it just made this wig look so much more natural. So much more natural. So much more natural. I'm just spray this little baby hair that I made. This little edge. Back over. And it's a look. Let me go put some clothes on it. It's a whole look. <laughs> I like it. I like this a lot. Wow. I like this a whole lot. This is, it's giving. Guys, I am finished. I'm dressed. I have on this cute little like soft pink um, spaghetti strap dress and I think it paired super cute and well with this wig like this color Woo! okay so Miss Sensational Butter Lace Unit Body Wave 20 inches and we have it in B Hazelnut I like her like this wig makes me feel so luxurious like I don't know what word I'm looking for, but it just makes me feel luxe, okay? I think this is just really cute. I would love to one day, you know, hopefully grow my hair out and get it colored like this. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful color blend. Um, you know, maybe try some like the tape-ins or something, I don't know, like, and just have this style every day. This is like, I feel like this is gonna be my go-to style and length and it, it's cute. And give me this, like, same exact wig, but just shift this parting space in the middle. I'm telling you, it's going to be fire. I feel like it would be so fire. But this is a cute wig, y'all. Like, okay, so um, the only thing, like, that, you know, I felt like needed some work was that hairline. I plucked it out some, and I feel like it really made the wig look really more realistic and natural. It's shedding, not shedding, it's tangling just a little bit more than I would expect considering that it's not super thick and it's not very long. So I'm like, I don't know why she keep wanting to tangle at the ends, but I digress. It's still a banger in my book. Like this is a 10 out of 10 wig that I would highly suggest people try now because it's cute. Like it just gives, you can like dress this up, dress it down. And on top of that, I love the fact that I was able to install this wig and it looks good with no holding glue or spray or nothing like that. I love that for me. Love that. <laughs> but y'all, this is this is a hit. Lots of space in the back. Looks good. The curls are beautiful. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 sensational. You did that, boo. You did that. 
But if you guys are interested in this wig, make sure you check it out in my description bar. I'll have a link there for you so you can get you one. Thank you to Sensational for sending over this wig. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.